Tonight at 10, a new challenge to Arkansas's recently passed library law that allows librarians to be criminally charged over what books they allow kids to see. A group that includes the Fayetteville Public Library filed a lawsuit against this today, calling the act unconstitutional. 5 News reporter Rachel Williams has the latest. This lawsuit argues the law violates the first and 14th constitutional amendments regarding freedom of speech and equal protection. And we feel like the, this community um, is fierce in its defense of uh, its First Amendment rights to free access to information. And we feel like it's our role um, to, to help fight that fight. The new law is set to go into effect on August 1st, but Fayetteville Public Library Executive Director David Johnson feels optimistic it won't. We would love for uh, the courts to look at this law and say that, you know, it, we're going to keep it enjoined and that it will not take effect on August 1st when it's scheduled to, um, so that we can continue to build collections that reflect the diversity of this community um, and let people have free access to the information that they're already um, seeking. The new law keeps harmful materials away from minors. If a librarian did not move the materials to an area where children can get to them, they would face criminal charges. So I think that, you know, what is harmful to the child is determined by that child's parents and not necessarily a group of parents deciding what everyone else's family should follow or adhere to. Pearl's Books in Fayetteville is also challenging this lawsuit, saying, quote, we are a family-owned business and wish to make decisions for our store without fear of prosecution. According to a press release, the ACLU of Arkansas says one of the issues that needs to be addressed is what is defined as, quote, harmful to minors. There is no real true definition of obscenity that can be applied and spread across all items it, um, and what is also considered to be harmful to minors. So that's some of the language in the law that is that, so what could be deemed harmful to a five-year-old is different than what could be deemed harmful to a 17-year-old. Johnson says he has a few concerns about the new law. One of those is the process of moving books to another location of the library. He says they don't have that kind of space. It also gets back to um, the notion of, uh, you know, what is our role in this community? Why are we here? And we're here to provide free and public access to information. And I think that this really puts uh, uh, constraints on our ability to do that. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Rachel Williams, 5 News. We reached out to every prosecutor from our area named in that lawsuit. Most we spoke with are aware of this lawsuit, but did not have a statement at this time.